Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to address the Open Source Summit. Allow me to first thank Open Forum Europe. Open Forum Europe started 20 years ago with a focus on open source and its community for open ICT standards and competition. The forum has urged and pushed the Commission to do the right thing. Keep doing that. 20 years ago, the Directorate General responsible for the IT in the Commission, DIGIT, took its first steps with open source. Today, in our data center, 75% of all hosts run Linux. Today, you will find open source all over DIGIT, Eurostat and our joint research center. Today, open source is mission critical. We leverage open source wherever IT solutions are put in place to help reaching the Commission's political goals. The Commission recognizes the practical value of open source and its geopolitical importance as a mean to gain technological sovereignty in the European Union. 14 months ago, I announced a Commission-wide strategy to establish a working culture based on the principles of open source. Think open. It's called to show that open source culture is not just about doing, it's also about thinking. We were also one of the first, if not the first, European public service to dedicate a program office to open source. And two months ago, we adjusted our rules on software distribution, making it a lot easier for our developers to share their work with others as open source. So we encourage our teams to review existing and former projects to share this work and to start new projects with sharing and reuse in mind. We ask our project teams to look for open source alternatives first. Soon, we will launch our own external repository, where over the years to come, we will concentrate our efforts to share our work. As our strategy is set out, we intend to be a key player in the open source community. All of you here know that open source and cybersecurity are intrinsically linked. We need to join forces to better protect against malicious computer users and to protect our infrastructure from threats. Yet, we also have to step up our guard against incidents like Log4J and other major security issues recently discovered in the open source world. When it comes to open source security, we will work with our peers in the member states to find and assist critical projects, increasing the sustainability and security. All of these actions drive the Commission's steer of the open source policy. The past two years, all over the European Union, public services have begun rejuvenating and consolidating their efforts on open source. It's thanks to the economic value and innovative power in open source. You will soon hear from the Minister for the Public Sector of France, Amélie de Montchalin, about the action plan on free software and digital commons. In addition to France, Estonia, Spain and Italy are showing us how to leverage open source to help building a tech industry and boost research and innovation. I welcome Germany's newly created Center for Digital Sovereignty, setting an example by making it mandatory for federal public services to share source code developed for or by them. This shows, once again, the economic value and the competitiveness of open source. It's also about retaining control over what is next in high-tech and thus technological sovereignty. Let me share with you some ideas on how open source can help reach the political goals of the European Union. Evidently, to build a Europe fit for the digital age, based on an economy that works for the people, we need to create, nurture and grow a tech startup culture. Europe's digital 
single market could also provide for a tech industry that is lean and sustainable, one that designs with reuse, interoperability and federation in mind. With climate change and environmental degradation threatening our existence, we need an innovative industry that makes tools and products that can be easily maintained and overcome planned obsolescence. European governments must pool their efforts to achieve technological sovereignty and to improve cybersecurity. With the French presidency, our efforts to share solutions amongst public administrations has been given a strong push in the right direction. So I'm fully convinced that this is an area where we should deepen cooperation amongst us to reap the benefits of new and emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence and blockchain. This will require long-term investments in open source digital skills, research and education. The time is ripe for renewed efforts to leverage open source to help us to achieve these goals. Our open source teams in the Member States and the Commission will continue the efforts working hand in hand.